Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create this formal updo hairstyle. I beginning the hairstyle by creating the part line for the four strand braid. Before the starting, I use some water to the hair. Take the small section and separate it in four equal pieces. Then I start the braid. Bring the rightmost strand under and over the middle, then the leftmost over and under the middle. Then bring the strand again from the right under and over the middle. Then the strand from left over, add some hair. And under the middle. Then the rightmost strand under, add hair. And after that, over the middle. Bring the left strand over, add hair, and then move the strand under the middle. Right under, add hair, and over the middle. Left strand over, add hair, and under the middle. Right under, add hair, and over. Keep on repeating this pattern. If the middle strand is starting to get too small, you can add hair during the braiding into the middle strand. Next, I show you how to do it. And now it's done. Just keep on repeating. Continue the braid until you can make sure that the braid will reach to the another side of the updo. If the braid will be a little bit too long, it doesn't matter because it's easy to undo, but if it's too short, it's much more harder to make the updo look full. I pancake the edges of the four strand braid to make the braid look bigger. Then I continue the braid a little bit without addings. Next, I create some front twist on the right side of the head. Take some hair, then take the elastic and secure the hair with elastic. Flip the hair through like this, and then pancake the itches. Repeat the same. Take some hair from the right side of the first twist, then take the elastic Secure the hair strand, flip the hair through like this and pancake the itches. Next, take some hair from the both sides of the two first twists. Secure the strands together, create the twist and pancake the itches. Repeat this few times more until you can cover the right side of the head with these twists. Now 
Next, I will create the cover for the updo. Take a small amount of hair under the, all the rest of the hair. Take a donut and cover the donut with the hair. I use the elastics to secure hair on top of the donut. Once the donut is covered, I use puppy pins to secure it on the right place. Make sure that this space will last. Then I will create yet few more stitches until the last twist is right above the base of the updo. Next, I will take the 4 strand braid and pull it through the twists. At this point, I also curl all the hair that is yet open. After that, I start to create the updo one curl at a time. Take a section of hair and spin it around your fingers like this. Then, secure the strand with the puppy pin. Take again a new hair strand, spin it around your fingers and secure with puppy pin. And yet a new strand. Spin it around and secure with puppy pin. I usually use two fingers inside the pin curl. The right way for you depends much about your fingers and also the model's hair. When you start to cover the base of the updo, I suggest you to start from above and continue downwards because usually the hair is harder to get on up once you cover the bottom. If you want to leave some accent hair out of the updo, you need to pick up the right ones during this process. I think it's pretty slow to cover updo in this way. It looks good many days, but it's also slow to do. So if you're going to do this, prepare at least two hours for the first time. Once you learn how to do this, it takes about 60 to 75 minutes. When I'm covering the base, I take some strands and bring them through the updo like this. And that's why, because I don't want this updo look only the pink curls next of each other's. It gives a little bit more texture. My last step is bring some hair from the right side to the left side, like this. That just make the top piece a little bit more fuller, but if I create updos like this on my own hair, I have to admit it that 
I don't have enough hair to create the top piece like this, so I just skip this step. At the end, it's all up to you model's hair. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it. Have a lovely day.